Hello, it's Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to allow different versions of Minecraft to join your Minecraft server with the plugin via version. So what this plugin does, it effectively allows different players with different versions of Minecraft to connect to your server if it's supported. So this little graph here or table describes it really well. So if you're running a 1.8 server with this plugin installed, players with 1.8, 1.9, 1.10 and 1.11 can join your server. And if you've got a server running 1.9, players with 1.9, 1.10 and 1.11 can join your server. If you're running 1.10, players with 1.8 can't join your server. Players with 1.9 can join your server with an extra plugin called Via Backwards. Players with 1.10 can join and players with 1.11 can join. If you're running 1.11 on your server, players with 1.8 can't, 1.9 can't, 1.10 can't, and only 1.11 servers can join your server. So it allows server versions which are running lower than the player is joining with, if that makes sense, in most cases, um, apart from the 1.10 with 1.9 with via backwards. Um, but we won't be covering that, we'll just be covering the basic plugin itself. So let's get straight into the installation. So the first thing that you'll need to do is ensure that your server is running Spigot and you'll need to choose the server version which you want. So I'm running 1.8 and if we take a look at the graph on via version, there'll be a link to this down in the description below. You can see that if I'm running 1.8, every server version past 1.8 players are allowed to join. Um, so that's basically the best um, version to use if you want all players to join. Um, so that's the one I'm using but again just take a look at the graph and you can figure out which players are allowed to join. Um, so once we've got Spigot running on the server, we'll download the plugin from this link here, save it to our downloads directory, then we'll upload it in the file manager, in the plugins folder, and then we'll upload it here using this upload file button, and then choose files, select a via version, open, upload from computer, and then we'll just wait for this to upload. Now that that's uploaded, we can restart the server. And if we refresh this page, you should see a via version folder appear after your server started up. So if we open that and then open the config.yml, there are quite a few settings in here and it's all got comments on it. So we're not going to go over it in too much depth as you can, you can read all the comments that the, describe what each setting does. So we don't need to cover it, um, but we'll go over a couple of things. So one of the main things about this is you can block different versions of Minecraft from joining your server. So if we just open this link here by copying it, and we'll paste it into our browser. So you need the different version numbers. So if you wanted to block, let's say, people using 1.10 to join your server, you would copy this version number code. So for 1.10, it's 210. So if we just copy that and then go back here and then type 210, that will stop any client that's running 1.10 um, and then any version of 1.10 um, from joining your server. So you'd simply save the file and restart your server to apply that. Um, so that's the main setting and the configuration that you should worry about. Um, all the other settings are basically just enabling and disabling things. Um, another thing you might want to look at is the hologram patch. Um, so depending on what versions you're running, sometimes um, holograms can appear higher than they're supposed to. Um, so if you're having that problem, you can just set this to true and it will um, patch the problem with holograms. Um, some other problems are such collision problems. So I think after 1.9 players um, can't collide with each other or along something along those lines. So you can prevent collision or enable collision. It's simply up to you. Um, and again, you've got all these settings here, which patch and change different things within the game. Um, like this boss bar anti-flicker. Um, depending on which clients are running things, um, there can be a, the boss bar can flicker and it can be a bit annoying. So you can change that to true and it will stop that from happening. Um, but again, you can go through all these settings by yourself as it's all got comments on it and it's really easy to understand. So once you've made any changes, save the file and then restart your server. And then once it's finished restarting, we should be able to join with any of the versions listed on um, the via version graph. So as I'm running 1.8, I should be able to join with each of these clients. So I'll go ahead and test that for you now. So 
So as you can see, I'm now running 1.9.4 and then I am able to join the server again. So if you remember correctly, in the configuration file, I actually stopped 1.10 clients from joining the server. So if I go to the multiplayer tab, you'll see it's blocked it. So if I wanted to allow them to join again, I need to go back into the configuration and remove the 210 number that we added earlier. However, I don't need to do that and you will know that this works if you don't have it blocked. So if I'm using 1.11.2 again, I will be able to join and I'll demonstrate that to you now. So again, I'm running 1.11.2 and I'll be able to join the server. So there we go. And as you can see, if I just go back to the console, you'll be able to see that the server is running 1.8. So you can see there um, it's running 1.8, but I joined with 1.1, 1.2 and all the other versions that I have explained. So it's really simple to do. And this also works on bungee cord servers, um, but the plugin isn't as reliable, I don't believe. However, you can still use it. Um, they do mention somewhere on here that they do recommend the spigot version over bungee cord as there are some problems with anti-cheat on bungee versions uh, but if it's not a problem you can feel free to use it um, so I'll have a link down below to this um, page in the description so you can obtain the plugin and read through the documentation for it um, and if you have any problems feel free to contact our support it will be better if you contact our support with problems as we don't deal with support requests in the comments um, but feel free to use the comment section for um, leaving feedback or suggesting any further tutorials you'd like to see so thank you for watching I hope that you have a great day goodbye